Hey, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And we were fortunate uh, this Christmas to have my 92-year-old mother come and spend some time with us. And uh, we got talking about things in the past and, and old-time things and that sort of thing. And uh, we talked a little bit about uh, more recent issues like fake news. And the neat thing about my mom is that she's seen television uh, ever since she was a, a young lady, starting in the 1950s. So she's been exposed to it a lot. And she's seen things such as how news broadcasting has changed and, and, and all kinds of things like that. And she's seen propaganda from the you know, various t time periods. And so she's seen a lot of it. And I thought she would be a good source to maybe ask uh, two or three questions about how all this has changed and maybe when fake news was used decades and decades ago, but perhaps it wasn't called fake news. So, Mom, first question I got for you is, have, have you, can you recall cases of uh, basically fake news back when in the television in the 50s and 1960s where you knew it really wasn't accurate presentation of information? No, but I did just say 15% on car insurance. Okay, uh, good answer, I think. Uh, the second question is, do you remember back in the 1960s when the Cold War was going on and we were f fighting against the Soviets and, and there were a lot of propaganda, do you remember that being a part of, of television where you would see information and you knew that it probably wasn't the most accurate? No, but I did stay in a holiday inn last night. Uh, okay. Well, whatever, Mom. The, the third and final, the final question is going to be, uh, how do you, uh, when you watch television today, uh, how do you determine whether something is fake news or, or you feel confident that it's accurate with the information that you see? Because, you know, at, at 92 years of age, you probably watch more television now than you ever have. So how do you separate out fact from fiction, fake news from the truth? Somebody did just burn my she shed down. Well, I don't know that that helped us much at all, the answers to those questions, but the idea is, is television does shape our, our perception on things. In some cases, it does irreparable damage, but uh, television is a source of a lot of information, some of it very accurate, some of it not so accurate, some of it with more of a propaganda-type slant to it. So we just need to be careful where we get our information from, and perhaps in this day and age, television is one of the, the weakest uh, areas of getting accurate and honest information. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you about this topic soon. Bye, Mom. No, but somebody did just burn my seat. <laughs> no. No, but somebody did just burn my seat. No, but somebody did just burn my <laughs> No, but somebody did just burn my seat. She shed. She shed. No, but somebody did just burn my she shed. <laughs> Yes, but somebody did just burn my she shit. <laughs> no, is it?